Hello, I'm Doug Baird, coming to you from the Warren County Historical Society Museum here in downtown Lebanon, Ohio, right across the street from the Golden Lamb. This, over this past year, with everybody being uh, down and away from what they normally do in this time of year, the museum have been busy. And we want to invite you to come down and see what all they've done here in the museum. Here in the Archaeology and the Paleontology Museum, they've got a really nice display for you to show. We have fossils of all various types. I'd like to take a moment to share the prehistoric history of this fossil. It's a stromatophoroid sponge and what happened was an asteroid hit the Silurian Sea like 400 million years ago. It stirred everything up from the bottom and all the living organisms on the bottom were covered in silica and thus changed the, the rock itself into quartz. So this is the remains of a sponge from 365 million years before present. We have more Ordovician period fossils, your standard brachiopods and bryzoans and corals. And then we also have another fossil case here with probably five different species of trilobites. And then our state fossil, which is the Isotelus trilobite. And then we have a wide variety of crinoids. The bow and arrow didn't come along until late in prehistoric times. Here in front of me are the third ancient cultures, arrowheads, which are just triangular shaped points. Here we have a series of banner stones, archaic knives, and then we're getting into your paleo artifacts. Uh, here's a Clovis paleo that goes back 14,000 years ago here in Ohio. And we have your Fort Ancient pottery case with lots of uh, knives displayed in it. Here in, in this case, we have Flint Ridge Chert, which is Ohio's official gemstone which the Indians used quite a bit of. And it was highly prized within a thousand miles of this area. And then we have pipes, gorgets, pendants, more pipes. Okay, here on our wall is depictions of the different cultures that inhabited here in Ohio. You have your Paleo Indians that go back to almost 14,000 years ago. And then you have your archaic peoples that were here about 8,500 years ago. And the Adena people, which were the first of the mound building cultures here in Ohio. And then we have a geologic timeline here that shows you that the artifacts collected in this area, actually the fossils, go back to 550 million years before present. And the timeline will show you the time of those different cultures in relation to what was going on in the world at that time. Like we have the time of the pyramids, when Jesus was born, and Muhammad founds the Muslim faith. And then we'll take a few steps down. The next culture is the Hopewell culture who had vast setups of trade all over the country where they brought in obsidian, mica, garnets, copper, and exotic flints from in the West. The Woodland Tribes was a combination of the Adena and Hopewell people and was a time period that gardening and growing their food was coming to be more prevalent. And then the last prehistoric culture in this area 
was our Fort Ancient people, which Fort Ancient, as I mentioned, is the site that's just down the road here that they became gardeners to where their stature declined and they started having more diseases and so forth. Thus, they were last of the prehistoric people. Come down and visit us here and bring your children as I'm sure that they would enjoy taking a look around. And if they don't learn what they want to learn, ask somebody here in the museum and they'll be happy to put you in the right direction. Thank you. Thank you.